Here we see the 3D viewport on the left and the ASA browser on the right. It's finally here. Well, kinda. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, a pose library in a production is absolutely essential. And in my last Blender production, let's say things took a lot longer than they needed to. Because we didn't really have a pose editor, we didn't really have a pose library, and then by the time we did, it was near the end of the production, and that's when speed started to pick up a little bit. Now, having a pose library, having a long list of poses in a production saves so much time because animators are modifying the poses and they're not sculpting it from scratch. Imagine the difference throughout the entire production sculpting from scratch versus making variation of a pose to fit what your need is. And so, uh, introducing Blender 3.0. Blender 3 is currently in alpha and that's the version I have to show you guys in today's video, but once released, it'll be coming with a Studio Library 2.0. And so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna be showing you how to save and set your poses in this new pose library. If your body is ready like mine, let's hop in. That was a little weird. Okay, so here we are in Blender 3 Alpha. I am going to just delete this cube, quickly add our character, go into Append. All right, so for this demo, we're gonna be using Max, one of the characters that is currently being rigged for the course. He's, uh, he's rigged enough to be used in this video, but he doesn't have facial animations, or sorry, facial rig yet. The first thing you guys will notice is this animation tab right here. That's new, that's not in 2.9 or lower. And we have a few options here. We have Create Pose, we have Copy, pose as asset and flip pose. So we're gonna go through those options and there's some more stuff we'll cover after that. But uh, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you are in, not in object mode, but you're in pose mode if you want to save your poses. And let's say we wanna make a hand gesture, a hand pose for Max. Uh, what we're going to do is select the hand controllers, but we don't have any, so let's go ahead and turn those on. There we go, finger details. Thank you, Max. And let's select the finger controllers. And I'm just going to deselect the hand IK. Cool, we got our controllers that we want to save in this pose, all the fingers. So what we're going to do is press create pose asset. And two things that you guys will notice is a picture popped up here and we have this down here. Um, so we're gonna come to create pose asset and click it and name this hand open and press enter and now the name here changed to hand open if you weren't aware yet we launched our website to anime.ca so if you're interested in an upcoming extensive blender animation course that's aimed at beginner to intermediate level animators providing you with everything you could possibly need to make a demo reel you can head over to our site sign up for a monthly newsletter where we share monthly progress updates on the course as well as monthly animation tip infographics so go ahead and sign up and be the first to access the early early bird prices once the course actually comes out all right let's hop back into the video the other thing you guys will notice is that that's not a picture we want to use as the thumbnail for this pose so why did Blender choose this picture? Why, why is that our thumbnail? Well, because Blender uses the camera view you have to take the picture. So this is not the camera view I wanna have. So what I'm going to do is go to view, camera to view, and then come here and make sure I'm focused on the hand with the camera. And that seems like a good way to save a hand pose. So I'm going to take this off come out of camera view, and now the question is, how do we retake that picture? Well, there's another new thing in Blender. I'm gonna go ahead and open a new tab, and I am going to change this tab to the asset browser. And now when we come to animation, there's our pose. We have, so with the asset browser, it's not just a pose library for a character, it's a pose library for anything, like a shading, geometry, so you could save scenes here, objects and collections, environments, everything. You could save everything here, and it all goes to, if you go to edit preferences into file path, it all goes to here. It all automatically saves to this path. Unless you'd like to create a new path, then you can press the plus button. So 
let's say we want to retake the picture for you got, I'm pointing you guys don't see that let's say we want to retake the picture for this pose right here I'm going to press N in this window then we have this new window in this new window um, we have all these new options and here we have the preview and you can either upload your own preview for this pose or you can press generate preview but so since we have a new camera we can press generate preview and boom that's what we have we have a new PNG of the hand pose we created and now I'm going to quickly make a fist and then I'm going to show you guys some examples of how to use this so here's the fist pose that I just created so again let's go ahead and actually you know what instead of reselecting everything I'm going to right click this right here and not apply pose, not blend pose, select pose bones. And so I'm just reselecting all the bones that were used into creating that initial pose. So all the same bones, I'm selecting all of them again, and I'm going to press create pose, and we're going to name this one, and fist. Press enter, and there we go. Now we have two different poses. Now here's the magic. You can for you can use either this window or this window. If you're if you don't need to edit anything, you can just close out this window. So let's do that. And now we have a couple of options. We can either click the poses here to go between them, which is pretty cool. But the other thing you can do, which is even cooler, is you can click and drag. I'm clicking, dragging right and left here, and you go in between the pose, the pose you're in and the pose that you're choosing. So the pose I had was an open fist, or sorry, open hand, and the pose I'm selecting and dragging is a fist, so it goes in between the two. And so if I drag this all the way, it'll turn into a fist. If I drag it all the way left, it'll turn into our original pose. But if I drag it somewhere in the middle, we'll have something like a, like a little claw looking hand. And that is pretty cool. That is gonna save you so much time when you're in a long shot, even if it's a, even if it's a short shot, you know? having different poses saved if you're using the same character or if you have facial animation and you want to quickly get a certain like look that'll save you so much time instead of creating it from scratch now the other thing i want to show you guys is let's say we have a fist and now the other hand doesn't really have a fist what if we go ahead and press flip pose and then click the same pose that we had now we have a fist on the other side as well so you don't need to make poses for each side like left and right you just make one for one <laughs> you just make a pose for one side and you can use that for the other side which is amazing that saves you so much time on top of saving you more time by just having a studio library because i'm used to making a pose for every single side you know like left hand fist closed right hand fist closed with this you just click flip and it'll be the opposite hand or even for the face if you have one side of the face like with the eyebrow up and like the mouth you know to this side you can press flip and it'll be reversed the mouth to this side this eyebrow up instead and it works for full body as well so this is amazing 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 tool i am so glad this is finally part of blender this is it's really gonna help with the adoption of blender once this is out once this is fully done i don't want to go too in detail with this tool just yet just because this is still in production, it's still alpha, it's not even beta yet. So we don't know what the final, final version is going to look like, but so far from what I'm saying, this is an amazing progress. Now the next step is saving these. Now these are saved locally on this file right now, but if you wanna access these poses on a new file, there is something you gotta do. So you know what we, when we went to edit and preferences earlier? So for the default, you have to change this to where you save this file. So let's say I save this in my downloads folder for some reason. Then you come to edit preference and change this to the download folder and press accept. And that way it'll search the download folder for poses that you've saved. And I'm gonna give you as an example actually. So let's close this. I'm opening up Blender from scratch. Once we go to animation and we're in current file, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing here. So we're going to go ahead and go to preferences and we are going to change the location to where our rig is, where, uh, sorry, where our previous poses were saved. So we had the rig in there and we had some poses saved and I saved the file and now we're telling it where that file is. So I'm going to press accept and I am going to change this from current file poses to the default, which we set. And there we go. Now we have our poses right there and you're good to go. So you can just have one source file for all the poses of that character 
and then any other time you open a new file you just change this to default and you can access those poses now if you enjoyed this video and you would like more animation videos make sure to smash that like button and check out my page and make sure to check out 2anime.ca if you're interested in a blender animation course that's currently in the making it will be released in november keep an eye out for that and i want to give a huge thank you to my beautiful patrons thank you guys so much for your continuous support of the channel with all that out of the way happy animating and i will see you guys in the next animation video